And thanks very much for sharing with us your outlook on the markets. Let's wind down then today's trading session. And it's been a very healthy day of trade. 40,000 on the Sensex and we're holding on to that level at 40,176 uh, with a nice 300 point bump up uh, closing in on 11,833 on the nifty with a gain of eight tenths of a percent the broader markets though has been a little bit lackluster in comparison so just about flitting between the green and the red it has been your sure shot uh, steady performer today with that index going home with a nice three percent gain Pharma not too far behind. The Nifty Bank Index has added a good uh, 200 points. PSU Banks Real Estate as well as Metals adding in on the upside. Energy sat it out today. The Media Basket in the red and FMCG. It's been awfully lackluster. The winner uh, clearly uh, belongs to IT, so put your finger on any of those names and they've had a pretty stupendous rally. Many of those stocks at life highs. A TCS at 28.20 with a nice 3% bump up. Clearly brokerage is loading the stolid performance as well as the management commentary, the buyback news and says that there is a lot more potential with target price of close to 3030 3, on the upside. Wipro as well as Infosys, HCL Technologies, Tech Mahindra all in the green. Sipla a nice 5% gain. You've got Ultratech Cement which is firmly in the green. Divi's, Dr. Reddy's, Grasim, ICICI Bank, Nestle, HDFC Bank, uh, rather HDFC Life as well as HUL are some of the other uh, stocks which are seeing a smattering of green. On the flip side though, Gale loses out about 3%, ONGC in the red, ITC at 167. Uh, Aisha Motors, RIL cools its heels at 22.42, BPCL, Bajaj Finserve and Indusin Bank, those are some of the other stocks in the red. Um, apart from TCS, you've got Bandhan Bank which is a newsmaker today, investors clearly cheering their Q2 updates, the fastest growing deposit franchise is what they say among the privates and their collection ratio is nearly 92% of the pre-COVID levels, something like... Um, a GM Breweries reports a 40% drop in its revenues for the quarter gone by. Lots of stocks are their life high apart from the IT basket. There's Loris Labs, Arti Drugs that's done phenomenally well today. Take a look at something like Apollo Hospitals as well at a life high. Berger Pains, Thyrocare, all of them have had a pretty stupendous run. Um, within the broader markets, although it's been very quiet, there, have been, there has been quite a bit of fervor within those mid-cap IT names. So the likes of l and Info, Emphasis, Mindtree, CoForge, they've all rallied hard and fast, even just dial if you add it to the basket. Repco Home Finance has had a good run up, Lakshmi Vilas Bank in the green, Catala Healthcare stands out, Vodafone 5%, Baram Chini buzzing, uh, Bajaj Electricals, Biocon, JM Financial, all of those stocks have been winners within the broader universe, while Advanced Enzymes, Strides Pharma, Deepak Nitrite, Future Consumer, Metropolis, Vedanta, Dr. Lal Path Labs and Vinity Organics, some of the key drags in today's trading session. But all in all, no complaints whatsoever. It's the large caps that have definitely led the way as we've ended at 11,834.